happy Sabbath to all and we are happy to have you join us today on this special Sabbath as we celebrate this last quarter of our 13th Sabbath. Three years ago, the 13th Sabbath offering helped construct the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Rugusa, Italy. This quarter, we featured an inter-European division which oversees the Seventh-day Adventist Church work in 20 countries and territories. These countries and territories are Andorra, Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, the Czech Republic, France, Germany, Gibraltar, Italy, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Malta, Monaco, Portugal, Romania, San Marino, Slovakia, Spain, Switzerland, and the Vatican City. The region is home to 338.1 million people, including 178,453,000 Adventists. God is doing great things in this region. Remember that Christ prayed for unity and our support for mission is essential for church unity. The efforts of the missionaries will not be accomplished until the church members in the home field show, not only in word, that indeed their obligation resting on them to give their missionaries their hearty support. So we thank you for your mission offering of this quarter that will help to build God's kingdom. And we will now have the mission story by Sister Krilaisha Rampasa. Praying for pets. Cyprus is a very challenging place to share Jesus. The Seventh-day Adventist Church has only 103 members on this Mediterranean island of 1.1 million people. But one missionary family is seeing amazing answers to prayer. There were four missionary children wanting a pet for a long time. They begged for a cat or a dog when the family moved from their homeland in Greece to work far away in the Philippines. Father was busy teaching at the Seventh-day International Institute of Advanced Studies. And mother was caring for four children while studying for a master's degree in education. The parents were not interested in having a pet to feed or clean up after. So mommy said to the children, no pets. The children were disappointed but knew better than to argue. After four years in the Philippines, the family moved to a new missionary post in Cyprus. Father rented a house with a big yard. The children were now older and their pleas for a pet grew louder. Can we have a cat? Revel asked. Or how about a dog? Asked Lucas. Nikki and Kalita also chimed in saying, it would be nice to even have a kitten. Father looked at them and said, the contract that we signed to rent this house says no pets. The children, however, weren't ready to give up. So the children asked, can we pray about it? Father Smirky responded, you can pray all you want, but there will be no pets. Nevertheless, the children started praying for a pet. <laughs> it so happened that the next door neighbor had a big cat and the cat gave birth to three black kittens. When the kittens were just one month old, they began to explore the neighbor's yard on their own. One day, the kittens found a hole in the low brick wall separating their yard from the missionary's family's yard. And they scammed through it. Look, Kalisa said, we have three kittens in our yard. The other children came running. Sure enough, three kittens were playing in the ear grass. Soon, the children were petting them and playing with them. The kittens came to the missionary's yard every day. As they grew bigger, they stayed in the yard. When they saw the window of the missionary family house open, they jumped inside and made themselves at home. Father and mother could not say anything. Nobody in the family had brought the cats home, so there was no one to tell to take them away. The children were thrilled. God had answered their prayers by giving them not just one pet, but three. God answers prayers in amazing ways when we ask. 
That is exactly what God is doing in Cyprus. In 2012, in the Adventist Church had only about 75 members. After a membership audit, only 60 members remained. But church members prayed, and in 2018, church membership passed 100 for the first time. Mm -hmm. God answered their prayers. Now church members are praying for a new church building in Cyprus. Part of this 13 Sabbath offering will help construct it. Thank you for your 13 Sabbath offering. Now boys and girls, this is the moment that we all have been waiting for as you recite your memory verses. Be blessed. Again, Jesus said, Do you love me? Take care of my sheep. John 21 verse 16. Hi guys, today I'm going to do my very end special and specialist excitement. It's going to be my memory verse. So let's start. God, I'll praise you forever. Psalm 30 verse 12. Proverbs 17 verse 17. A friend loveth at all time, and a brother is born for adversity. T 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. We worship God when we have faith in Him. I remember we took this talk in fall, Mark 11, verse 22. Have faith in God. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, for whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Carry others' burdens, and in this way you'll fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 6, verse 2. Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. John 14, 23. Again, Jesus said, Do you love me? Take care of my sheep. John 21, 16. Have faith in God. Mark 18, 22. Pleasant Sabbath, everyone. Today I will be doing my memory verse. God said to them, Go into the world and preach the gospel to our creation. Mark 16, verse 15. If you call the Sabbath a delight, you will find your joy in the Lord. Isaiah 58, verse 13. Have a blessed Sabbath, everyone. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you shall fulfill the law of God. Galatians 6.2 Our memory verse is taken from Acts 1 verse 11 and it reads Men of Galilee, they said Why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus that has been taken into heaven will come back in the same way that you have seen him go into heaven. Psalms chapter 91 verses one and two. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. In Him I will trust. Pleasant Sabbath, everyone. Today I will be reciting two memory verses. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, a new creation has come. The old is gone, the new is here. Second Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to a family of true believers. Galatians 6 verse 10 Enjoy your Sabbath. Oh, I know, I know, I know, the plans I have for you, the plans of Lord. Oh, I know, I know, I know, the plans I have for you, the plans are long. Plans to prosper you, and not to harm you, plans to 
give you hope and the future. Jeremiah 29 11. Jeremiah 29 11. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. Galatians 6 10. We have come to the end of our 13th Sabbath service. We hope that you had enjoyed it, and we hope to see you next Sabbath. God bless.